An iceberg that scientists had been monitoring for months has finally broken off of Antarctica's Larsen Sea Ice Shelf. The land mass weighs over a trillion tons. That's twice the volume of Lake Erie. It's one of the largest ice icebergs to break off in recorded history. Martin O'Leary is a research officer at Swansea University and an expert on the Project Midas team, and he joins us now. Uh, Martin, first of all, is this a surprise? I mean, you guys have been following this iceberg for a while. Is this the timing you expected? Well, uh, I mean, to be honest, we've been expecting this to be any day now since about January. So uh, to, to us, it's a, it's a little <laughs> bit of a relief, actually, to not have to be checking these things every morning to see if it's gone yet. OK, so it's happened. Um, from what I've read, this is a natural occurrence. So does this relate to yeah. the climate change debate in any way? Well, I, I think yeah, people have been drawing links with climate change. Obviously, this is a big icy thing that's happening. It's obviously something that puts people in, in mind of climate change. But we're not aware of any direct link here with climate change. So this, this is a natural process. Uh, ice builds up in ice shelves. It eventually has to go somewhere. It carves off as icebergs. So I uh, guess my question is, as scientists, why have you been looking so closely um, at this massive uh, you know, piece of ice for so long? What will it teach you? So uh, we're particularly interested in this, uh, in the Larsen C ice shelf, um, because the two ice shelves to the north of it, Larsen A and Larsen B, both collapsed quite dramatically. Uh, Larsen A in 94, 95, Larsen B in 2002. So uh, Larsen C and those two collapses were very much linked to climate change. They were uh, as a result of quite a lot of surface melt on the, on the ice. So we've always been expecting that Larsen C might go as a result of climate change. Now, what we're seeing instead is just a large chunk of ice breaking off the front, not much surface melting. It's a very different phenomenon, but it's obviously something that we're quite interested in. OK, so let me unpack a little bit of, of what you just said. It does not affect a lot of land ice, and that is key from what I've read, because what this uh, this iceberg breaking off will not actually raise sea levels. It's kind of like this yeah. drink I have here. The ice melted, and it doesn't actually raise the volume of the drink. It, but Exactly. It's, it's already floating. But so, it does potentially already... does it destabilize the land ice it was near. Was it buttressing anything? Is there any significant impact on any of the land that it was near? Well, that, that's, that's a good question, and we're going to have to see in the months to come whether we see any acceleration of the glaciers feeding into the ice shelf. We don't expect to see a lot. We think this was this ice had already sort of passed the point at which it was buttressing. It was jetting out into the sea too far. Now, of course, what this does mean is that the, the ice behind it is now open to the ocean. So if we see more ice breaking off, then we would start to worry about the, the land ice further back. But that's a a separate issue, I think. OK, so again, for the sort of casual observer of these things, they hear iceberg breaking off. They do make linkages to climate change, even though icebergs have been evolving and moving off um, for millions of years. Um, give us some context about how to view these events when we when we see them in the news. So I mean, this is obviously just a, a spectacular natural event. This is, you know, in, in the top 10 largest icebergs ever recorded. I think it's going to come in around fifth or sixth uh, once we get the exact numbers. But, um, and you know, this is huge. This is an area the size of a US state, which used to be effectively land and isn't anymore. So on that sense, it's dramatic. Absolutely. This is, these things happen. They're not always climate change. So, sometimes big things happen in nature. Martin O'Leary, fascinating insights. Thank you so much. You're welcome.